two. Now, before I get to my number one, I'm going to quickly run over some honorable mentions of other video game ideas I would like to see as well. They just missed the cut just this much because they're franchises and game ideas and whatever I would like to actually see. Just not as much as my top ten, but they're all something I think would be cool to at least be seen, and at least be made, and they fit there as well. So let's get started with that and run through them quickly here. Nintendo DDR. Now I do know there was some Mario Mix DDR game, Dance Dance Revolution game on the GameCube, and that's cool and dandy, and Mario has some awesome music, but Nintendo as a whole is known not just for their gameplay and you know, their characters, in some instances their story for some of their games, and how fun their games are, but also their music, because Nintendo has a lot of awesome music, so I'd say take that idea and run with it. Give us Fire Emblem music, give us Kirby music, Yoshi music, Legend of Zelda music, F-Zero music, get in some Earthbound, get in some Golden Sun, get in some Sin Punishment, get in some Wave Race, Excite Bike, 1080, Wario Land, WarioWare, all these different Nintendo franchises, throw them into a big DDR game. I do know DDR is kind of partially dead at this point. Dance Dance Revenge is partially dead, sort of. It still has some popularity, but Konami, hey, revitalize it and give us some awesome dancing to Grudo Valley and Song of Storms and Mute City and everything on DDR. There you go. And on the topic of a Nintendo music-based game, I do have one more right here, and that is Theater Rhythm Zelda. Now, when Theater Rhythm Final Fantasy came out a couple years ago on 3DS, it was actually a really cool idea because one thing you know Final Fantasy is actually known for is its music. There's a lot it's all, it has a lot of cool characters and story and gameplay, but it's the music. Final Fantasy has a lot of good music and to see a rhythm game based off of you playing that music is cool and all. But there and it's awesome, but there is other franchises out there that can do the same thing. And the first franchise that comes to mind for an idea of doing a similar style like Final Fantasy was because of awesome, like you know, because it's awesome music. Is another franchise that has awesome music, and that's the flipping Legend of Zelda. There is a lot of good music you can put in there. You can get stuff from the original, from um, Adventures of Link, Link's Awakening, Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Skyward Sword, Twilight Princess, the Oracle games, um, the new Breath of the Wild coming out next year. You got a Link Between Worlds. You got Minish Cap. You got Spirit Tracks, you got Phantom Hourglass, you got all these different Zelda games, all these different awesome soundtracks. You get Zelda's Lullaby, the main Zelda theme, Hyrule Field, uh, Rudo Valley, Minna's Lament, the, um, the love theme from Skyward Sword, Girahim's theme, Bruce's theme, Zant's theme, all these different awesome songs. Playing your ocarina, playing your harp, just playing to the music of Zelda. It, it, it makes sense. Like, that's one of the major things a lot of people love about Legend of Zelda is its music. A rhythm game off of it would be pretty cool. NHL Street. Um, I do know EA Sports Big is kind of dead at this point. Um, EA kind of killed off all the, the street games. I know they did NHL, you know, NFL Street and that made it to like four games. And then NBA Street made it to like three games. They did like one FIFA Street. But it always surprised me back in the day that we never got to see... NHL Street, them actually taking on hockey, one of the most popular sports in the world, into the street as well. Make it pond hockey, ice hockey, throw all the official teams on there, all the craziness, make your own team, going through a career, blah, 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 blah. Like, them doing this all these years later, and bring back NFL Street, NBA Street, FIFA Street, just bring it back because people love the street franchise, <laughs> and NHL Street could be a new inclusion to that. Harry Potter Online. I always was surprised that Harry Potter is a big of an IP of a franchise, of an identity type of medium that it was through its books and its movies, and even video games based off the books and movies, that it never got any other game out there. It always stuck to the games based off the movies and then the Lego games and then Quidditch. I'm always so surprised they never expanded out of it. And one, like, like, I always would have expected something like this to become an MMORPG, a Harry Potter Online. You can create your own student, go to Hogwarts, one of the other schools. You can become a wizard, get a job, live in the world, fight off, the, you know, Dementors and evil wizards, and just basically make a big, giant, you know, society of wizards. Yeah, you, know, you can be taking, it can take place during the Harry Potter world, or the, you know, the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them world in America. You can do whatever you want. Maybe you can make different regions. I don't know. You could travel between and travel between times and maybe meet up with characters like 
Dumbledore or whatever the heck. I thought it would be pretty cool. A new State of the Moon video game. Now this is kind of me cheating a little bit, and I did pull a few strings just so I can include this on the list because I really wanted to include this on the list. I know State of the Moon got some video games back in the day on Super Famicom and whatnot. They got like an RPG and a fighting game and a beat 'em up and all that other stuff. But I would like to actually see a new State of the Moon game, and this time it actually being localized because the thing that surprised me always back in the day is like. How big Sailor Moon became in America and outside of Japan in general and Europe and whatnot, I'm always surprised they never localized it. As far as my knowledge, I have no clue. They might have localized something. I never realized it. Maybe they did in Europe. I have no clue. You can, <laughs> European gamers out there, if you can inform me on that, I'd like to know. Um, they, I'm surprised they never brought any of those games outside of Japan, given how popular it got. Now, I can see the reason probably being because they're all pretty much Super Family Home games. They all came out... Like, the franchise started, the anime and manga started, like, in the early 90s, so it might have been mostly at that time. And it pretty much was localized over here around the mid to late 90s, and that's around the time of the PlayStation 1 and everything. I don't know if the PlayStation 1 or any of the system during that time period got a Sailor Moon game. But they always could have done, like, a, like a collaboration collection, taking all the Super Family Home games, throwing on a PlayStation 1 disc, localizing it out. Given how popular it was, I'm always surprised. But why bring a new game out? Because... Sailor Moon's becoming huge again. It's actually, you know, rising up in popularity again and how relevant it is in the anime world again because of Sailor Moon Crystal. They're making a new anime based more off the manga, starting over, going through all the different arcs, all different seasons of the manga, starting completely over. And then let us not forget that Viz is now redubbing the original anime uncut. Sailor Moon's become huge again. There's classic fans, old school fans that have come back and are getting back in Sailor Moon again, and, there, and it's acquiring new fans. I would really like to see something with Sailor Moon that could actually come outside of Japan and I actually can play legitimate. Soul Calibur vs. Tekken. Now, Mortal Kombat vs. Street Fighter was in my list because pretty much everyone wants it, myself included. Those are the two pretty, pretty much biggest fighting game franchises of all time. Soul Cal you know, Soul Calibur and Tekken, an awesome, you know... Namco fighting game franchise just cross them over. They already kind of fight almost the same, anyways. Except you know, Tekken doesn't have weapons, and so Elper does. But they kind of, you can do some random story of them traveling dimensions and time periods and having to fight each other. And they're two all-star fighting games, pretty much from Namco collaborating together. Namco. Arabian Tales. Now this is a slightly off the wall, more so semi-original idea. But I always thought it would be pretty cool for us to actually go and see the different like. Arabian Tale type stories, uh, characters like Sinbad or Aladdin, the actual stories from like the books and everything, all the different tales of you know the Ara these Ara these Arabian legend characters in some sort of game. You could do it some sort of adventure esque game like Prince of Persia, and give us something original just to have all these jinn and genies and horses and fights and ventures and everything with these characters. I think it'd be pretty cool. Advanced Wars vs. Fire Emblem, because Intelligent Systems has two awesome strategy games on their hand. One that's mostly strategy with some RPG elements, like, you know, Days of Ruin did have some RPG elements. And then you have stuff that's straight up a strategy RPG, like Fire Emblem. Cross these two franchises over, have them be really awesome. They're both, I'm fans of both franchises, and they're both pretty cool. And you can cross them over in Dimension, sending the, the new Advanced Wars characters that come back into medieval times with the Fire Emblem characters, or the medieval characters brought to the future in war times, and just collaborate them together and make a big giant hodgepodge strategy game where you have to place not only, you know, the Fire Emblem lords on your, your from all your, you know, your archers and your lords and your berserkers and your mages on the field to battle the enemy army, but also your infantries and tanks and everything. You get maybe a select amount of lords to use each battle, and then you can still build infantry to come and help them. And like how you team up people, you can team up not just the Fire Emblem characters with the Fire Emblem characters and the Advanced Wars characters with the Advanced Wars characters, but collaborate them up. Like just imagine, you get Marf to team up with some infantry soldiers, and you can, like if you get like a critical attack or something, you can basically have like the infantry soldiers just blasting up to your enemy, and they're like, and they're all weakened, and then Marf's like, okay, get out of my way. Sword strike! Critical and dead, or you can have like one of the like dra people that can transform into a dragon, bring up some infantry soldiers, and they can just drop bombs on their enemies, and boom, critical bombing dragon. Awesome. 
Captain Falcon Bounty Hunter game. Now, this I would like to actually see, and I have mentioned by people that do want to see more about Captain Falcon as an actual bounty hunter than just him being an F Zero racer. And I kind of agree with that because I'd actually like to see him do more of his actual bounty hunter stuff because all we've basically seen is his racing stuff in the side story character type stuff. The side the story is basically him being a bounty hunter. We know he's a bounty hunter. We see like old comics from the Super Nintendo game and whatnot came out. Um, I would actually like to see that. It's an honorable mention because I would rather have just a new F Zero, but I think it'd be a cool idea, and that's the reason why I put it on my list. Even as an honorable mention, I think it'd be pretty cool. And they could just make it as a story mode in the next F Zero. That's all they really have to do. Like a story mode where you play as Captain Falcon, running around being a bounty hunter in between the races he does in the storybook. And you could still have an actual legitimate F Zero game that has all the Grand Prix and all the stuff you can do. That's what I would like to see. Marvel Injustice, because DC has gotten an awesome fighting game, and the Injustice franchise, now there's a sequel coming out, and it's them collect, like doing it in the style of like Mortal Kombat, and it's a really fun game with all the DC heroes and villains. You do the same thing with Marvel, and I'm not saying call it Marvel Injustice, because I'm just talking about a Marvel game that's like Injustice, that's one-on-one -on -one fighting game. You could, do it in, I, you could do it in the style of Mortal Kombat all you want, but I'd say from Marvel, it might make more sense to do it in the style of like a Tekken or a Street Fighter. And just make a big giant fighting game that you can play as like She-Hulk and Hulk and Iron Man and Cyclops and Wolverine and Captain America and Thor and Spider-Man. You get Carnage and Venom in there, the Fantastic Four and Electro and every other different, you know, hero and villain just collaborating in front of each other. I think it'd be cool. Other Telltale game ideas I did on my actual list in part one have some Telltale games. And that was basically... Um, Ghostbusters, Harry Potter, Spider-Man, and 007. There's just some other ideas I think would be pretty cool. Arrow, because just like Batman, it's another superhero franchise you can basically, you know, do an interesting story you take on. Like, play it, like certain parts of the story, you could be Oliver Quinn, then you could be Arrow, and just doing some mission, trying to stop some villains. Classic comic book and cartoon franchise like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You have the various villains like Shredder and the Krang and all that stuff, and just various side characters like Casey Jones and April O'Neil and stuff like that. You could basically do an interesting like story like that. Um, Sherlock Holmes, and yes, I know I picked the Sherlock Holmes from the Phoenix Wright game that's coming out now, the whole adventure, whatever, Sherlock Holmes. And that's because he's really, he loves to really look cool. But he's a, like, <laughs> he's a detective. You can basically, you know, investigate crimes, investigate murders, and every episode could be its own little crime that could somehow connect in the grand scheme of things. It'd be pretty cool. And my random anime inclusion is Death Note because... You could really do an interesting story there. Like, it could take place in the same universe as the actual anime, and maybe take it have it take place anime and manga, I should say there, um, and to have it take place years later after Light is dead, and the idea of Kira is maybe maybe faded from people's minds. Have the death another death note be brought down, and a random person pick it up and become a new killer. And I could see this going two ways. One, you could play as a detective that's trying to find out who this Kira is. And depending on your choices throughout the story, you could either A, find the killer and stop him, or B, fail and get yourself killed. Or B, you could play as the killer, as the new Kira, as the new person with a death note, and you have to make decisions on who you're going to kill and how you're going to hide your tracks. Because if you do it the right way, you're going to survive in the end. If you do it the wrong way, you're going to get found out, killed, or whatever the heck happens to you. I think that'd be pretty cool, especially for a Telltale game where all your decisions could impact the story. And my final honorable mention, an Xbox Smash, because Sony already has PlayStation All-Stars, and Nintendo obviously has Smash Brothers. Get a big giant party, fighting, action, all going crazy fighting game for Xbox as well. You can get Marcus Phoenix and the other Gears of War characters, Halo characters like Master Chief, the guy from Fable, blah, 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 Blinks the Cat, blah, 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 all the rare characters like Banjo, blah, 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 you can throw it together. Because I think, just like Nintendo fans got Smash, and Sony fans and PlayStation All-Stars, Xbox fans, Microsoft fans, deserve a Smash Brothers style game too. That's it for my honorable mentions. Let's get on to my number one right now. Drum roll, please. My number one most wanted video game idea that I would love to actually see made is... Nintendo versus Capcom, because 
why wouldn't you want that? That's like a collaboration that almost everyone wants, and both companies have so many characters to choose from, you can make a huge fighting game. Nintendo has so many characters, so many classic fighting game style characters, especially to the Smash Brothers, but they have so many characters they've had since the 80s. There you go. And Capcom, since their inception, they've created many characters too. And Capcom's already you know, crossed over with Marvel. They've already crossed over with SNK. And they've even crossed over with Tatsunoko, an anime company. They've crossed over with all these different identities. And I've seen people mention that you know, there should be a Nintendo vs. Capcom crossover. And even the creator of, uh, I think, Street Fighter basically mentioned that he would be interested in making this. It is my most wanted game because I would love to see how they would do it. Will they do it 3 vs. 3, like, you know, the Marvel vs. Capcom franchise, or 2 vs. 2, like Tatsunoko? You know, just imagine all the characters you can choose from. Like Nintendo, you can get Link, Mario, Pikachu, Isaac, Issa Joe, Shulk, Marth, um, Krom. You can get Pit, Captain Falcon, Kirby, Ness, um, why are the characters? And then when you go over to, like, Capcom, you got Mega Man, Zero, Ryu, um, Chun-Li, Guile, you got characters from Onimusha, you got characters from, Dr um, from Monster Hunter, you got characters, you got Phoenix Wright, you have all these different franchises, uh, Beautiful Joe, <laughs> Resident Evil, Devil May Cry, all these different franchises, just cross them over. It's something a lot of gamers want to see, a lot of fighting game fans want to see. You can have such an interesting character choices of roster, and it'd be so fun. It's something that would be years in the making, and if the creator actually wants to see it, one day we could see it. And that's why it's my number one game I would love to actually see made. Number three was Fire Emblem Warriors, Emblem Warriors. Number two was an anime all-star fighting game. Number one is Nintendo vs. Capcom because I love fighting games. I love Nintendo characters, Capcom characters, Nintendo franchises, Capcom franchises. And it's the collaboration I really want to see. And that's it for my list, everyone. Put in the comment section what you guys think. Do you guys like these ideas from part one and part two? Would you like to see any ideas made? What video game I blah, 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 sorry? What video game ideas do all of you want to see? Put the comment section down below. We can discuss it, have fun, and enjoy it. I hope you guys like this video. My name is Sniper One. Peace. Please subscribe. If you want to stay tuned for the next top ten list. Stay tuned for the next video in general on my channel. I hope you guys all like this list, and I hope you all have a nice day. And I'll see you all later.